And that off this time in the tote Galway plate, they have 14 fences to jump over the two and three quarter mile trip and attached already is 21 upping the ante, but a long way to go and it is Ashtree Meadow fourth last year, close up is authorized art in the orange cap with that one stable companion Kilcrud alongside, then borne by the sea and Visionarian and Hewick. And Andy Dufresne has parted company with Aidan Kelly at fence one. And Aidan is quickly to his feet. Hurricane Georgie has got beyond the first this time. Ashtree Meadow opens up a lead over good three lengths, going to the second fence, followed by authorized art Kilcrud. And on the inside is Foxy Jacks with Visionary and Borden by the Sea. And then Hewick, last year's winner, but carrying 12 pounds more the top weight as they head on towards their next fence, which is number three, a plane followed by their first ditch. And out in front is Ashtree Meadow going to this fence, followed by Authorized Dart. And then Kilcrud on the outside of Visionary and jumping up in between horses, almost lost final orders there. Marvelous recovery by Sean Flanagan to keep the partnership intact. On now to the ditch and running around on the approach to it, the front running Ashtree Meadow, but safely over. Followed by Visionarian, Hewick's improved. Then Kilcrud, borne by the sea on the inside is authorized Dart with the gopher not far behind them. Lifetime ambition as they complete their jumping up the far side. Getting a reminder at the rear is Hurricane Georgie, but it's Ashtree Meadow in front. Closed upon by Visionarian, who's now within two and a half lengths. Then authorized Dart and Hewick has moved up into fourth place ahead of Kilcrud. Then borne by the sea, Foxy Jacks on the inside of the Goffer. And then the prolific easy game on the outside of Lifetime Ambition. And mid division is a wave of the sea. And then Enniscary, followed by CL de Neige. After them is. Hollow Games over fence number six and quickly on to number seven and the last one next time. And popping it nicely clear of the field is Ashtree Meadow. Climbs back to their point of departure and a lead now four lengths. In second place is Visionary and third is Authorized Dart. Being followed on the turn by Huey. Kilcrut the Goffer, born by the sea. Foxy Jackson is scary lifetime ambition. Easy game next. With a wave of the sea and Gabby's cross. CL Dinej, the start cap. Final orders next with Hollow Games and Fighter Allen up the ante has improved to tag on at the back and then Hurricane Georgie who's followed by the Jigginstown duo the Grey Lieutenant Command on the outside of Fury Road. Well stacked up at the end of a circuit finishing next time in the Tote Galway play of 2023 and it's Ashtree Meadow accompanied by the loose horse. Leads by two and a half lengths. Divisionary and authorized art is handy in third. And then Hewick and Foxy Jacks has made up ground on the inside. They're tracked by Kilcrut and borne by the sea and the Goffer next. On the inside is Enniscary as the loose horse is out of harm's way for the time being with just over a mile to go and six fences left to jump. Ashtree Meadow yet to be headed. Leads at the bend, visionary and an authorized dart. The Goffer's improved to track closely with Foxy Jacks, Hewick, lifetime ambition makes a forward move. Then Kill Crutton in his scary and Gabby's cross the wave of the sea, born by the sea, Hollow Games next. Ciel de Neige, an easy game and final orders followed by Fighter Allen, then Fury Road, upping the ante, Lieutenant Command and struggling is Hurricane Georgie. Seven furlongs to go. Another five fences left to jump. And it is Ashtree Meadow putting in a mighty shift in front. Goes now to this fence just after the turn from Visionarian and then authorized Dart and Hewick with the Goffer continuing to make headway up onto the heels of the leaders. Then Lifetime Ambition, a wave of the sea and kill Crut. Their final ditch, Ashtree Meadow over this fence, slightly taken by the eye of the Lewis horse on the approach. Going now to the last on the far side. And it is Ashtree Meadow over carefully from authorized Dart Visionary in between them. Then Hewick, who's close up and forth with lifetime ambition in his getting next to the inside of the golfer, then Kilcrot, a wave of the sea under pressure as Hollow Games, then born by the sea and easy game next with Fury Road. They race down to the final half mile. Another two fences left to jump in the play. And it's Ashtree Meadow, the leader. Foxy Jacks has been pulled up. Ashtree Meadow to the second. Second last, followed by Visionary and authorized 
start. And it's scary on the inside is closing. Then lifetime ambition. Hewings drop ground and the gopher. The final fence. It's Ashtree Meadow from Authorized Art who's coming to challenge. A captain of a few lengths to Visionary and Lifetime Ambition. And it's scary away with the sea plugs on. Then the gopher who's followed by Hollow Games and Hewing to the home turn. Ashtree Meadow and Danny Gilligan on the inside just in front from Authorized Art and Danny Mullins as the pair kick away from Visionarian and Dennis O'Regan they straighten for the final furlong and it's Ashtree Meadow in the lead from Authorised Art then Visionarian in his scary hollow games a wave of the sea but it's Ashtree Meadow the leader inside the final 150 yards Ashtree Meadow is holding Authorised Art to go three spots better in the Galway plate of 23 Ashtree Meadow and Danny Gillian landed from Authorised Art hollow games a wave of the sea Visionarian and CL Dinesh can't go back any further. Danny Gilling is getting all the congratulations, winning a Galway play at your local track. Well done. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say to be honest. I got I thought I got it easy enough in front, got him got him filled up everywhere I could and uh, coming down down into the dip uh, I was quite confident he'd get up the hill. I thought I'd I'd enough enough held the whole way around. And to be fair, when he turned in, he was good and gusted the whole way to the line. Your stable companion, Andy Dufresne, wasn't doing you any favours, a loose horse. Yeah, coming, coming past the stand the second time, just coming down to, down to the fence, he was kind of wandering back and over. But to be fair, when, when I needed a horse, he was good and honest. And the way he travelled through the race, but each time at a ditch, he had a look at it on each occasion. Yeah, just going down the roadway, but just before the ditch, he went to run down, down the road. Um, I, the first time I wasn't really expecting it, but thankfully the second time I had a good hold of his head and uh, he jumped super the whole way around and uh, can't complain. Talk is true from the third last on, it became a match quickly after the last offence between you and Danny Mullins. Yeah, and I, I just I didn't want to panic straight away and go for him. I tried holding on to him for as long as I could because I knew turning in it, it was still a long way from home and uh, thankfully he had enough up his sleeve. You're 17 years old, you want to go to play at your local track, it's dreamlike stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say, to be honest with you, I just I can't really believe it. And uh, Gordon, of course, you've joined up with him the last year, and it's just been fantastic. Yeah, Gordon, uh, I can't thank him enough, and all the owners, all the owners in the yard, all the, everyone that's given me support, and my agent is doing a great job, i just delighted, yeah. And second wind of the week, you're only back from an injury, of course, last Friday, first ba right back in the flat. Yeah, look... <laughs> I, I was hoping to be back for Galway and to have two winners by Wednesday is just it's brilliant. How close was it to get into Galway or not get into Galway with that collarbone injury? Well, I had a scan Tuesday two weeks ago and uh, I was kind of begging them to let me back <laughs> and then I, I rang Jennifer last week to see would I just be able to have a ride in the flat just for fitness purposes and it's, it's worked out and can't th thank them enough in the hospital as well for, for getting me back. Well done, what a day for you. Thanks a million, Fran. Thanks. Great scenes here in the winner's enclosure with Ash Tree Meadow and its enthusiastic owners, uh, John McGordon Elliott. Well done, your third Galway plate. Yeah, um, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I think it's hard. Yeah. Uh, no, this is unbelievable, Fran. You know, it's great to win the race. It's been the plan since last year. Uh, we put them away, we minded them since, since, uh, since you placed around Cheltenham last year. Uh, you know, Danny gave him a great ride. You know, my own horse nearly caused him a bit of interference going around. Andy, Andy, Andy the friend. Andy, yeah. But uh, look, today was uh, Ashtree Meadows' day. Um, you know, it's been the plan for a while. You know, Eamon Walters and Robbie of Almere Stud, you know, they're big supporters of Cullen Tra, so it's nice to win it for them. Talk us through the race because he jumped out well, yeah. messy start. I, we, the plan was to jump out smart and we were in the first five. I says, look, if he gets to the front, stick against him. Danny gave him a beautiful ride. Um, good rider. He's indeed, he didn't panic at all, even when he was tanking with him, no. he never, he just kept no, sitting. No, he's cool, look at, uh, he, he's, he's works in the yard there full, full days every day, he's a lovely fella, um, do you know, but he's going around with the likes of Jack Candy and him every day of the week, do you know, the, the, Sam Ewing and Jordan game for the free day, great lads. All the games are on a good race as well? Delighted, just a little bit novice here, they got a bit far back, but very happy. And Gordon, for you, uh, to get a goal we played again, it's, yeah. it means a lot. Yeah, it does, yeah. I've never won the hurdle. I'd like to win the hurdle. Well, uh, the form has got a boost. Glan, of yeah, course, yeah. Uh, won that race across Common where this horse ran last time. That's right, yeah. No, Glan is in good form if you win it. But, uh, no, listen, great to win the, the plate. Like, you know, as you know, Fran, you, if, if you win these races, 
you know, it's a lot of prize money, keeps you well up, up, up the table. Um, it's great. Well done. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.